Yeah, no, just to add to um, what Ayolo was saying about identity, back in the year 2000, um, and this came out in the LA Times, over 40% of our people in East LA marked off white in the US Census. So, you know, and I didn't check it for 2010, but, you know, just, it was just sad, you know, that our own people were Mexican, we're eating elotes, we're, you know, like, we just, we're so blind to see our identity, to embrace who we are. But in the same way, you know, we can't blame those of our people who don't know because we've all been born into the system of self-hate and colonialism. So those of us that do know, we have an obligation, like um, Brother Manuel was saying earlier in the conversation, those of us that do know, we have to take that knowledge and go out, you know, even if it's your neighbor or you're at the laundromat, you know, like just make conversation because how many of our people don't speak on these issues and it, we need to get started somewhere. The conversation needs to begin, even if it's just a conversation, even if it's just uh, a comment that you make at the supermarket, whatever it is, we need to start dialoguing, we need to have this discussion because there's too much ignorance. Those of us that know we have that obligation, because I know some people, they know this information and you know, they get real cocky about it, like they feel better than other people. You know, I, I met a lot of these people and it's sad, you know, because knowing your history, you should, you should feel First of all, thankful, you should feel grateful for knowing, but also you should feel obligated to spread that information and not use it as a weapon against your own people, but use it as a, a way to help and heal our people because 500 years of colonialism is not gonna go away overnight. It's not gonna go away uh, by dressing a certain way, by doing a certain danza, by smoking certain things, you know, like we're talking about a 500 year system that's gonna be dismantled little by little by events like these, conversations, actions, protests, education. Um, speaking of education and action, the next speaker is gonna do a great presentation on what is it exactly that we do in the Mexica movement? What are the activities that we've done? How have we impacted the media? And we were always you know, uh, ignored by the media. It's sad, and I'm sure Alicia experienced this recently, where the media is there, they're filming you, and they're interviewing you, and then you watch the news, and it's like, you never even existed, you know, you never even went to the event, even though we're probably the majority of the people that were there with signs. Um, so another way for us to take back our, is our history is by us making it and by us documenting our own actions, because if we don't document what we're doing, and we don't use these tools that we have, like YouTube and Facebook, and now we have, you look at all the success he's done and how much people he's impacted through YouTube, a camera, you going out there is gonna get across the whole world. So it's important for us to use these tools in a way that's gonna enlighten, in a way that's gonna confront, in a way that's gonna impact people. And Manuel has a, a set of uh, videos that he would like to share with you regarding the different aspects of our involvement, the different aspects of our approach to resistance and to education. So, Manuel Alderete, he's been a member for five years, and uh, you guys may know him. Um, he's very famous for some of the confrontations he's had with the dogs. Uh, when he told us about the Minutemen and Bob and Park, he's just, he's on it. He's a great asset to the organization, and um, And to confront this right, white supremacy that, that you all are too aware of here, um, it's very much like the Nazis. You heard Olin earlier's detail how all these SB, this and that, it's very Nazi-like about the way they're targeting our people. Well, what we're trying to do is push back on that, but with something more than just we're human, okay? We know that we're human, we know that we want to work, but we're, we're very much about pushing back in a confrontational way with our history, because that's the part that's being ignored here, about who we are, about the land, and how, how long we've been here, what's been here before. We want to redefine all these issues of who's indigenous, what are the real borders. Uh, our real border was the Atlantic Ocean. They want to say it's Mexico this or California that. Those are all their divisions of our people. So what I want to show you is a little bit of how we've been involved. I'm going to show you some videos and then a little presentation uh, in the next 20 minutes here just about how we are dealing with this because we are here to try to give you guys some some tools about how to speak differently and you're going to see actually some people after uh here uh like alicia uh people an example of somebody who confronted these tea party tea baggers and let's be honest they're just white supremacists uh 
But they, how are they talking about issues, the, the Tea Party, Tea Bagger people? They're talking about 1776, and they feel powerful. Yeah, this is our country, and the Declaration, and the Founding Fathers. And you notice how we're not talking that way back. How we don't say anything near like that. We just talk about these very immediate issues right now. What we're trying to do, we're gonna, we want to expand that. All right, you want to talk about history? Let's talk about history. You want to talk about illegals? Let's talk about it. That's what this is all about. So let me show you uh, something uh, just to remind you uh, what's going on. This is not just Arizona. White supremacy is going on all over the Western Hemisphere, our lands. Uh, just an example, you'll recognize some of these people. Do you talk back by saying, we just want to work for you? They laugh at you. But I'm a human. They laugh at you. Here's a... Here's kind of some examples of us uh, here in Phoenix using these posters and, and using our history, using our intelligence, confronting these people. We're going to talk about the issues our way. <laughs> that go beyond just the, the, the soft messages. We're calling out white supremacy and we're portraying them as exactly what they don't like. I'll just talk a little. Some of you maybe remember, uh, I'm sorry I don't have the video right now, but you've seen maybe on YouTube uh, where we as Michigan Movement confronted Lou Dobbs. I don't know if anybody's seen that video. Uh, the way we talked to him was different. It was, it was not, well, we just want to hear, be here and get green cards. We got in his face and said, no, uh, you're the illegal. You get back on your uh, Mayflower and go back to Europe if you want to talk about illegals. This is our land, you're the illegal here. He, he was kind of like not sure how to deal with that. So that's what we're here to, to try to inspire you to talk about. And it's these posters. So you see that we've been doing marches and, and we've done confrontations out there. This is confrontational. This information, uh, maybe you're thinking, well, he's just reading out of a book. What's that got to do? Those are the ideas and powerful tools that you need to make a part of your, your intelligent talking to get out there and talk to people uh, about this. Uh, one last uh, thing I want to show you is just to, just to refresh your, you know, w w what are we telling you? Uh, there is a message we're bringing here. It's more, it, it's about our accomplishments, it's about our civilizations, but why, why, why do you need to know that? Again, look at the, the Tea Party, they're using 1776, or look at the white supremacists, they talk about, well, it, it's all in the past, but they're holding on to the past, and they're using the past. But what is our past? That this is our land, this is the Western Hemisphere, Semanawa. We're in an area called Anawa. We call it North America, or it's called North America, and down in South America, it's Tawantinsuyo. The first civilization that we had goes back to 3700 BC in Peru. The first civilization we had here in, in North America called Anahuac in our language goes back to 2300 BC, the Olmecs. That's older actually than the Jewish history, believe it or not. But how many of our people talk that way to the Minutemen or to Arpeo? Hey, we've been here since 2300 BC at least, man. Or beyond that at least. Nobody even says anything, you know. Teotihuacan, 300 BC, the Mayan civilization, the Toltec civilization, Mexica civilization. Up here uh, in the northern area was Mississippian civilization, which is an extension of that. We, we were people who created cities. We had our own writing. We were masters of astronomy. We were masters of engineering, mathematics. The Europeans killed 95% of our people, 70 to 100 million of our people. This is what we're here to tell you all about with our posters, and our outreach, and our, our uh, messages. The, the things, uh, posters and materials you can buy there, or you can go on our website, Mexica Movement. Uh, there was a genocide. Let's talk about that genocide. They killed 70 to 100 million of our people. Compare that to the other genocides of the world, the Jewish people, the Armenian. This needs to be discussed. This is, this is the axis of evil here because what they're representing is white supremacy here. So we need to be calling them out on white supremacy. Not just asking and begging to, for little things like we want to work or 
green cards. Yeah, let's talk about illegal immigration. Yeah, Europeans came here. And we, we need to keep bringing that up again and again. Europeans were here, they came here invading our lands, 1492. This is about educating our people with all of these materials here. That's what we're here to do. This is, this is exactly what we need to throw right out there in the public. You need to bring it up in your conversations that we're indigenous, with the right to migrate everywhere on our continent. And this is, this is what we're about, bringing this to, to our people, getting our people to be proud of who they are, to know who they are, start reading. Uh, you've been hearing presentations about your, our identity and learning and reading. That's essential. You can't just go out there and just say, you know, just treat us human. We need the arguments, the intelligence. We need to be using uh, the information that's in our history. So that, that's a brief uh, discussion of what Mexica Movement is about. Go to our website and just search for Mexica Movement in Google or www.mexicamovement or mexica-movement.org. Uh, read our materials, buy posters, read our uh, bibliography, recommended books on the website. You gotta start learning things. It's not just about just emotional stuff. You gotta have the knowledge and start thinking about these things. And then you use that out there because everybody here has personal issues. I, I, we heard about it earlier. What are you gonna do about that though? Are you just gonna watch it happen? Or are you gonna arm yourself with information and you're gonna talk different, you're gonna confront it? That's what we want you to do. So that's why we're here. So anyway, I, I hope that you have learned a little bit from this and uh, we will have questions after that. But thank you very much and